Hello, PT people. My name is Jay. I'm one of the expert teachers here at E2 Language. In this lesson, we're going to look at one of the writing tasks in the PT called Summarize Written Text. You know, the one where you have to read the big block of text and write a single sentence. And what we're going to do is I'm going to actually do it and I'm going to think aloud. So I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what it is that I'm doing so you can sort of get inside my head and hopefully that will help you with your reading skills and also your ability to write that sentence and get a high score. So let's check this out. Writing, summarize, written text. Okie dokie, so this is what you see on test day, right? You see text here that can be up to 300 words. I think this one here is about 280. Right, so you obviously have to read that. Uh, then what you need to do is you need to synthesize that or summarize that into one sentence. That's it, just a single sentence. So there's a lot of ignoring of content here because there's obviously a lot of detail. What you need to do is find the essence of this text here. You're gonna have 10 minutes to do this, including the reading and the writing. And don't ignore the reading because the reading is critical. Okay, so how are you scored? You're scored on these uh, criteria. So you're scored on content, zero, one, or two points. That means that you have actually read and understood the text and you've summarized it well. You've chosen all relevant aspects of the text. You're also scored on length. That is, you'll get a zero or a one. That means you've written more than five words and fewer than 75 words. So that's pretty easy. Just write six words or 74 words. But we'll talk about in a minute what the optimum length is. You're also scored on grammar, zero, one, or two. So your sentence has to be grammatically accurate. Articles and nouns and prepositions and plurals and all that sort of stuff there and vocabulary, zero, one, or two. And this is how good your word choice is or how appropriate the words that you use are in your sentence. Now, all of these criteria here contribute not just to your writing score, it also contributes to your reading score as well. So if you have been having trouble in your PT with your reading score, you might wanna check that out. So we're going to do this together and I don't want you to just skip through on your phone. I actually want you to go through the pain and torture of actually reading and writing because the more that you go through this and you experience it now in preparation, on test day, you're going to perform a hell of a lot better. It's like going to the gym. You can't just watch somebody at the gym and think you're going to get big muscles. You actually need to lift weights as well. So let's do this together. The first thing I want you to do is to read this text. I'm going to give you one minute to read it through quite quickly to get an overall idea of what this text is about. Your time starts now. All right, how did you go reading that in the one minute? Hopefully you did. Uh, what you should have gotten out of that is an overall understanding of what the text is about. And because you have 10 minutes to complete this task and you should use all of the 10 minutes, my suggestion is that you don't read it just once, but you'll actually read that text several times to make sure that you have really understood it. 
because then after and only after you have fully understood it, can you then begin to write out your sentence, okay? All right, let's get started in writing the sentence. So what I want you to do is to write your sentence into the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's start with the first paragraph, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to write this sentence. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it in parts. Remember there were three paragraphs, right? So I'm going to take the, um, the essence or I'm going to summarize this first paragraph into one phrase. Then we're going to look at the second paragraph and I'm going to summarize that into one phrase and do the same thing with the third paragraph. So I'm going to be left with three phrases or three short summaries. Then I'm going to combine them together into a single sentence. And this is a good approach to a text, uh, especially if it is broken up into paragraphs. So you've summarized each part of the text and put it into a single sentence. Okie dokie, let's look at the first paragraph. Okay, so let's just quickly read through this paragraph. The basic components of chewing gum are gum base, softeners, sweeteners, and flavorings. Gum base is what makes the gum chewy. When gum was first discovered, it was made from tree saps called chicle or something like that from the sapodilla tree. However, today's gum base is usually fabricated from a mix of rubber and artificial materials. It is then that gum manufacturers will add a softener to the gum base to prevent it from hardening. Lastly, they'll add sweeteners and flavors to the base to make the overall chewing experience much more palatable. So what is this part of the text about? Let's write down some main ideas. Okay, so I might just say something like, um, there are a variety of ingredients that make up chewing gum, right? Uh, I think that's ba practically it. I'm going to ignore a lot of the details. I don't need to mention specific things. I could say something about um, a combination of artificial and natural substances. Um, I could mention something about sweeteners and flavors. Maybe I'll just add that sweeteners and flavors. So there are a variety of ingredients that make up chewing gum, including sweeteners, make sure you get your spelling right, and flavors. Um, 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 what else, what else, well, as well as a gum base. As, as well as a gum base. Now you can see here that it's actually telling me I've spelt this incorrectly. Uh, of course, when you take the test, you will not get a wiggly line indicating incorrect spelling. This is just British English spelling. So what you have to do is choose one, choose one and stick to it. Okay, so I've got the first part of my overall sentence there. And that basically summarizes that paragraph. Let's now do the second paragraph. Okay, so this paragraph says, when chewing gum, the saliva begins to digest the sweeteners and flavorings embedded within the gum itself. Unlike the gum base, the other ingredients can be broken down and digested. These are swallowed during chewing and the digested sweeteners and flavorings move down the digestive tract towards the stomach. Eventually, the only thing that is left behind following this process is the base and softeners resulting in a hardening flavorless mass. Okay. Let's pick out the main essence of this. What is the, if we summarize this down, what's it going to say? So I think that something like, um, something about digestion is critical here. So the gum base is not broken down or digested while the other ingredients are. Okay, so let's, let's, let's put that in. Let's just say something like, um, okay, while the gum base is not digested or not digestible, the, um, the what, it, what is it, the, 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 the flavorings and sweetness, the sweetness and flavorings are. Okay, digestible is a word, I don't know why it's telling me it's not. Let's leave that. Cool, so I've got the second part there. Remember, I'm going to combine these into a single sentence. Okie dokie, the third part. The spent gum should not be swallowed, of course, although it is generally not harmful if ingested. 
Folklore suggests that swallowed gum sits in your stomach for seven years, but this is not actually true. Swallowed gum will move relatively intact through your digestive system to be excreted in the normal manner. Okay, so let's summarize this into a phrase now. Hmm, how can I do this? So, the gum base, oops. The gum base, um, hmm, um, or let's say something like, contrary to popular belief, as in I'm taking this part about the folklore suggests and I'm paraphrasing or changing the way that I say this, contrary to popular belief, the gum base um, is eventually discreted, sorry, discreted, excreted, that's the word, excreted if swallowed. Okay, now I've got the three parts of my sentence. This is where it gets a little bit tricky and this is where on test day, you're going to probably write it out, delete it, try again, delete it, try again. And my suggestion is on test day, you use your noteboard booklet thingo and you write down those three parts. Then you try to type it into your, uh, type it into the screen here. And you're going to have trouble, you're gonna to have to move certain clauses and phrases around until you're satisfied that you've written out a nice coherent sentence uh, that accurately summarizes the content there. So let's do that. Okay, now I need to combine all of these. So there are a variety of ingredients that make up chewing gum, including sweeteners and flavors, as well as a gum base. While the gum base is not digestible, the sweeteners and flavorings are. Contrary to popular belief, the gum base is eventually excreted if swallowed. Okay, let's combine it now. So what I'm going to do is try to put this sentence within this sentence and also this sentence within this sentence here to create one sentence that contains all the information. So there are a variety of ingredients, uh, both digestible, now I spelled digestible wrong before, so let's make sure I get that right. Both digestible and in, um, oh, both, uh oh, now see, I don't know if undigestible is a word. So what I'm going to do is rewrite that. Um, there are a variety of ingredients that can be digested or not that make up chewing gum, including sweeteners and flavors, as well as a gum base. Okay, so I've sort of got rid of, um, I've got, got rid of that one there, but I haven't got this one in here that the gum base can be excreted, okay? So there are a variety of ingredients um, in chewing gum that make up chewing gum. Now I'm gonna move that actually, that make up chewing gum that can be digested, uh, uh -huh, including sweeteners and flavors, as well as a gum base that cannot be digested, but can be excreted. Okay, cool, I think I've done it. Sometimes it just comes to you actually. You don't really know how you're going to write that sentence, but then you sort of, you move stuff around and all of a sudden you think, aha, that's what's going on there. So now, now let's take a closer look at this full sentence. There are a variety of ingredients that make up chewing, whoops, chewing gum that can be digested, including sweeteners and flavors, as well as a gum base that cannot be digested, but can be excreted. Cool, I think that accurately summarizes that text into a single sentence. So let's just count the words now. So there are one, two, three, let's just do this. Can I do tools? There's no word count there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 30, 31, 32, 33. Cool, so 33 words will pop onto the screen here. So I've written 33 words. In fact, that's fine. So you just have to write more than five, fewer than 75, but ideally you wanna write about 30 to 35 words. So I've written 33 words here. And that's enough words to accurately or to, uh, uh, to summarize accurately, I think. Cool, so that's about it. What I wanna show you before we move on is something quite interesting. 
Cool, so if you have taken the PTE test before and you didn't get the scores that you wanted, or you haven't taken the PT test yet and you're a little bit concerned because you might need some writing or speaking feedback or just some general test simulation practice, check out our PT mini mock test on e2language.com. You get to experience what it's like to take the PTE, so you get that sort of test simulation experience, but more importantly, you get feedback on all of the different skills, so reading, writing, listening, and speaking, including teacher uh, feedback on all of your speaking skills, like read aloud, describe image, retail lecture, as well as writing, including summarized written text, which we just did today, write essay and summarize spoken text. Cool bananas, thanks for watching. My name is Jay, I'll see you soon.